upon us for the Lord is righteous in all his works which he hath commanded us. See, that states that um, gang, gang culture uh, uh, weave weave adultery you know you can't even have your own woman without knowing that she's sleeping with other guys man and you, 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 you ain't gonna get no virgin you know you women are shameless, man. You can't have a wife. You brothers want a wife. You ain't gonna get no wife in this in this place, man. You are, you are not gonna get Sarah on this side, man. I'm not trying to say that brothers, in the truth, don't probably have like a girlfriend. If you do, then that's your portion. But majority of brothers, in the truth, you ain't got no woman, man. But you ain't going to. You roasting every day. Let's keep it real. Every day you're roasting, man. And that's, that's, that's suffering. That's, that's the curse of the most high. Roasting peanuts, isn't it? You're not roasting, man. Nonsense roasting, man. <laughs> roasting, man. You, you, that's the most high teasing you. Once I make the woman of your dreams walk past you, and you know you can't get them. Which I call by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will build their land. That's beautiful, bro. Read that again. Second Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people, which are called by my name, which are humble themselves people, which are called by and my name. pray. That's, that's Israel. Yeah, my. If, Exactly, that's Israel, that's talking about us, so-called blacks, Latinas, and Hispanics. Because you're the people called by the Most High's name. If you look, if you look up the word um, Judah, the word Judah means the Howard right? Yeah. The Most High's name is actually in our, in our name. And the Most High's not going to put his name in, in Israel, in Moab. No. We're literally called after the Most High's name. We're the sons of the Most High. That's what the word Israel means. So read that. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. See, that's beautiful, man. You know, and humble yourself. How do you humble yourself? By hearing. Hearing, man. Instead of coming up here trying to give the sacrifice of fools. That's a curse, man. Leave it up, man. You know what I mean? That, that's the type of woman you're going to be in the kitchen. She's going to be back talking to you, disrespecting you. You know? Exactly. That's what you're saying. You can't take for no way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, man, you lost, you lost something. I got something. And they said that, and also the brother just read that if we'd have humbled ourselves and prayed and asked for forgiveness, then the Most High would look down from heaven and forgive us, man. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a marvelous feeling, man, to pray to the most of our forgiveness and to wake up the next day feeling like that weight has been lifted off of you. Let's see how dysfunctional you niggas are, man. You niggas don't even see, you don't think that, you think this is cool. It's not cool, man. 
There's no, there's no class to it, there's no honour in it. Right? Right. And the other nations take advantage of your dysfunction. They come in among you and take your will. It's a, it's, a, it's a damn disgrace, man, I'm telling you. It's a disgrace. Revelation 22 verse 3. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of the Most High and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servant shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be on their foreheads. And it's, there shall be no light there. Just the point there, take a look at verse. Huh? Right. That point is in verse 2 that the Lord's going to take away the curse. Yeah, the Most High will take away the curse. But I think that's a little magnitude. Magnitude. There shall, um, there shall be no more curse. So I think that's a little micro as well, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I've got my microphone. Microphone 1. It says, But in the last days it shall come to pass that in the mountain of the house of Yahweh, shall be established to the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow unto it. Right, so what's a mountain? Is that, is that talk about a literal mountain? No, it said that the mountain of the Lord shall be established above the hills. So you mean to tell me that, that somewhere out there in the world there's a big mountain of God that's going to be above the, the other hills? That's referring to us as a people. A day is going to come when the Moses is going to put us as a people over all the rest of the other nations of people. As according to Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. That if we keep the commandments, the Moses will put us on high above all nations. Okay. And it says, And many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh, to the house of the power of Jacob, he will teach us of his ways, right. and we will walk in his paths. Yeah. For the Lord shall go forth from Zion, and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. See that? He said that the Lord shall go come out of Zion, man. So the Lord's statutes and commandments are going to be very much in effect in the kingdom. That's going to be the law of the whole universe, man. We're not going to be following Esau's laws, man. See, Esau got his own laws. Moab got his laws, Ishmael got their laws. Well, the Bible itself, that's going to be the law of the whole universe. Nice. The same book that people, oh, that's a white man's book. Who read that? Any, any, anybody that talks shit against his words is going to be destroyed. Any, anybody, man, woman, that talks smack against this word, off with their head, man. It's a the most High's word is going to be institutionalized in the world as governmental order, man. You know what I'm saying? You read that. You can see the Lord will come out of Zion. It says, yeah. The Lord will come out Zion. Zion means monument. Come, mm. The Lord will come out of us. Yeah, man. The first the Moses is going to put the laws in our inward parts. Israelite. According to the second covenant. When the Moses has us to be changed, the laws and commandments are going to be a part of our inward part, man. So we're not going to be, there's not going to be no errors or mistakes. We're going to be executing the laws and commandments efficiently. Efficiently. And it says we're going to teach, we're going to teach, we're going to teach these other nations the law. Yeah. So these other nations, they're going to have to follow the laws and commandments. Ishmael, Moab, even, even Edom, they're going to have to follow the law. They're going to, they're going to know the law. They're going to follow it, man. Everybody's got to be under the law in the kingdom, man. Go ahead. It says, um, And many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go to the mountain of Yahweh, to the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for the Lord shall go forth from Zion, and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. Right, so these other nations, they're, they're going to be wearing fringes, man. <laughs> They're going to have beards on their faces. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to be eating swine, corn. They're going to put a difference between clean and unclean. They're going to make sure their women go on 
Hey, um, hey, um, what's it, that cycle, the uncle cycle? Yeah. When she gives birth to a boy child, she's uncle for, um, what's it, four days? When she gives birth to a, a, a female, a girl, she's uncle for 80 days, man. So they're going to they follow that, um, that law. That purification law, man. You know what I mean? They're going to keep the high holy days. 